Hello people, uh, in this tutorial we're going to use JavaScript, JavaScript to reverse a string without using the reverse method. Uh, that's what makes it tricky. So first I'm going to go through this using the reverse method and just show you how easy it is. And then I'll show you um, uh, a more complicated way that uh, helps you understand how for loops work a little bit better. So we have a string, uh, it's called reverse the string. We want to return this backwards, we want to reverse it. So um, to do the usual, let's uh, create a function. Let's call it reverse string, and let's give it a string parameter and a code block, and then let's return the string. <clears throat> and then we'll call the function reverse string. Oops. And then uh, we're going to make sure it works, and it looks like it's working just fine. So, uh, like I said, obviously, um, to use the reverse method, it's really easy. You can do it in three lines of code. First of all, you, know, if you, don't, you can only use reverse. You can only use the reverse method on an array. So you want to convert the uh, the string to an array, and you, you do that by doing, I think it's split, is it? I think it's split. And then return the array. Um, so now we have everything, and yeah, we have all the individual characters in an array now. And then we go back, we could take, um, <clears throat> we could say final string, and that into a, <clears throat> into a variable, and then we can use the array to reverse it, and then uh, see what happens. We have everything reversed. Reverse this string, but we got to, of course, join all that together. I think I'm doing this right. Um, into uh, into one array. Okay, so there we go. Using reverse in three lines of code, we can reverse this string. Super easy. But what if you're you're tasked with not using the reverse uh, method? Okay, it's never going to show up in real life, but if you take the time to understand how to do it without using the reverse method, you can understand JavaScript to, um, to a, uh, at a deeper level. So let's go about doing that using, uh, well, I'll show you. Um, how do we return a string, a reverse a string, without using the reverse method? So, okay, if we're going to re reverse this, um, we have to loop through it. Let's just loop through the string and actually return each character in the string one at a time, but start from the end and go all the way to the beginning, and then just store each character we get into a uh, into a string. So, all right, I'll break it down for you bit by bit. We'll create a variable. We'll call it final string. Let's just call it empty right now. Let's we'll give it empty. So, if we have a final string like this, and then it's going to return for us an empty string. So let's take this string. Let's just throw in a bunch of shit into it one at a time in the order that we want to. So, we do that by starting a for loop now. If you're just starting out in JavaScript, for loops, they can get pretty tricky. I mean, obviously it's not a while loop, uh, which, are pretty, which are a little simpler. But every time you make a for loop, I just I start the same way every time. I, I just set up the index. I start it at zero. I don't worry about it. I, um, I check the condition. I is going to be, well, we'll, we'll just do what we normally do. Okay, the condition will be the length of the string. And then uh, we'll increment it. I know this is not right, but let's just, again, if you're trying to figure this stuff out, learn it and practice it and go through it bit by bit. Just start simple. Start from the uh, the, the easiest way to write a for loop. And then uh, count the log and then see what you get. Okay. Let's see what we have at string index and see what that does for us. Okay. It goes through the string bit by bit. It's going from, but it's going from the beginning, which is what we don't want. So again, this just helps you understand what you're doing, but, you know, uh, as you as you claw along it and try to try to learn these concepts. So we know this is not right. Okay, we're starting from the beginning of the string and we're going to the end. We want to start from the end of the string and go back. That's how we reverse it, right? So let's start instead of starting at zero, let's start at the end of the string. So whatever the string length is, we'll just go from there. Okay, and then we'll want to go all the way down to to when our index is. At zero, okay. And instead of going up, we're gonna to want to go down. What happens when we return this? Okay, we're getting somewhere. Um, reverse this string and then undefined. So we we lost the first character in the string. We want to get that back, and we went too far. Basically, we want to shift everything one one thing over to the um to the left. So we started uh, too high, um, which is why we missed. The uh, well, we started, yeah, we, we, we the, the number is too high. We want to go down just one, okay? So let's start string length, just string length one. Nope, I still didn't get it. You know what? I didn't do here. Hang on, we'll go back to that. I, I, we're not starting at zero, 
that's how we get rid of uh, the R. Okay. So we started at night. This is you know the end of the string up here. We go all the way down to zero. So we want to make sure that that equals zero, so we can get the R in there. The problem is that I still have undefined because I'm I'm going all the way to the end of the string. However, if I'm starting at zero, so I can get that R in there, I want to stop just one character before I get to the end. That's real easy to do. Okay. Um, a string length minus one, and then you have the whole thing. Reverse this string. So we're getting close. All we have to do is every time we get this character, we have to add it to our final string. So let's take off all of this. We know what console log string the I gives us. And then uh, every time final string equals plus or equal to um, string index. And there you go. That, that's all it is. Uh, as many of you know, this is equal to this shorthand for final string plus string index. Shorten this out, we just go plus or equal to the string index. And that's all it is. So uh, just a few extra lines of code. You can take any string and reverse it without using the reverse method. And that's all. Thanks a lot.